Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we have two things to talk about. And one of them is about Elaine Thompson Hera's husband, Deron Hera. Now, the last video I did, I make you know say a lot of persons feel like Deron Hera should retire as Elaine Thompson Hera's coach. You understand? Them feel like same nah, do no justice. Well, right now, I'm going to show an article where Elaine Thompson Hera is confirming that she actually made the right decision in letting her husband be our coach you understand of course you know that so she move away from the mvp track club and she feel like so she made the right decision and things will play out the, in the right way then you understand so she have a lot of confidence as it relates to her husband being the coach and can get her to excel and stuff like that so obviously she must have known so a lot of persons not really feel him for be our coach and them thing there's him on people so stick around if you know one know alien tom say here after say about all of that but also we're gonna talk about legendary sprinter you see Bolt and Dina Asha Smith being featured in a music video by a British rapper that goes by the name of Stormzy's or Stormzy or whatever, however you want to pronounce it but it's a British rapper and Usain Bolt made a cameo feature in the music video along with Dina Asha Smith. Yes, you are my people and it's definitely a good look um, for have Usain Bolt in a music video of course that must feel good and things so we're going to talk about that and you don't know me going to go know the information as it relates to all of that as well. But before I'm further people make sure to like the video like the video please because it now cost you a dollar it free and also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet turn the notification bell on that way you can get notified when I post a new video so the first thing we're going to talk about is alien tom say hero is him people and as me say all the people feel like say you know she mix business with pleasure as it relates to um our husband there and hera being our coach and thing is it so let me get into this story right about now and this is coming from sports max by the way is it people so it's a I've made the right choice. Olympic champ Thamse Hera remains confident coaching change was the right decision. Jamaican double Olympic champion Elaine Thamse Hera remains convinced the correct decision was made. The correct call was made regarding the decision to change coaching champs last year. Following the most successful year of her career, the 29-year-old made the controversial decision to part ways with Steve Francis-led MVP track club, one of the most high profile in international track and field. Instead, the sprinter now trains with her husband, Deron Hera, and ahead of another big year in track and field is feeling comfortable. I think the change matches my aspirations and what I want to achieve, Thamse Hera told members of the media. I am definitely getting the love and support that I want for what I am working on. Sometimes I think change is good. I am grown and I know what is best for my career and I'm sure I've chosen the right path. You see it, my people, so that is what the story is saying. She's very confident that she actually made the right decision. She now backtrack. She's not releasing her husband anytime soon. You understand what I mean? And at the end of the day, still, you know, even if a million persons come out and tell her, say, look, you know, I know him for coach you and this and that, you know, I think at the end of the day, the two of them have an understanding because they're my husband and wife. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to take way more than people telling her, say, look, get rid of him in order for she make that decision. It would have to be like a, a decision where the two of them come together. She now follow where people are say she's not going to bow down under peer pressure and them things. You understand what I'm saying? People. So she confident that she made the right decision regardless of people feeling like, like she should actually stick with the MVP track club. She would have Obviously, you know, well, not obviously, but some people would have feel like, say, you know, she would have done more better and things would have gone free a certain way because obviously only can see what transpired after she changed coach and thing and thing. You understand? Some people are say, you know, she she now perform to her full potential and thing because obviously you know, regardless of what happened this year for Alien, she is still the fastest woman in the world. We can't take that from her. You understand me some people so you know, let's just hope that whenever she start run again, we will be seeing a lot of improvements and she will be proving the doubt as them wrong as it relates to her husband, people lacking confidence in him and thing and thing. But he also did an interview which we talk about um in our video when we do before this. He is very confident that they will you know, they did actually good in the season we're gone and they will be improving as it relates to the the, the whole track and feel atmosphere and them thing. There's even people so I could watch and see what I go on, you know. Me have to big them up the same way and I wish them all the best. You know, some people don't like this, but it's not about what the public like. You understand? Because for be honest, people, me personally feel like because Steve Francis, them man, them more 
known for, 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 for bring people to them peak of them potential. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I feel like even Deron Hera, regardless of how long him in a track and field and him, you know, help out um, like in other areas and stuff like that, I still feel like, say, you know, Ilian, which part she there right now, she need a certain type of coach for push her. You understand what I'm saying, some people? But let me know what you guys think about this. And also, let me know if you feel like she made the right decision. Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Usain Bolt and Dina Asha Smith being featured in this music video by British, um, a British rapper that goes by the name of Stormzy. You see what I'm people? So let me get into the article right now and you can tell more anything. You see it? So it's a Olympic stars Usain Bolt and Dina Asha Smith feature in new Stormzy music video. The sprinting duo made surprise appearances in the award-winning British rapper's YouTube clip, which went viral within minutes of its release on Thursday, the 22nd of September. There was a distinctly sporting theme in British rapper Stormzy new music video thanks to guest appearances from Olympic stars Usain Bolt and Dina Asha Smith. The track titled Mel Made Me Do It was released on Thursday, the 22nd of September. September evening and pays homage to the culture that both inspires and upholds Stormzy as a household name in the industry. In the video, eight-time Olympic gold medalist Bolt sits down to watch a game show on TV that is hosted by presenters Jonathan Ross and ZZ Mills. Fellow sprinter Asha Smith and documentary maker Louis C. Rox are the guests. Bolt can now add acting to the long list of his activities since retiring from athletics after the 2017 World Championships, which also includes playing professional football in Australia and producing dancehall music. In early January 2021, he released a single title, Living the Dream, with the childhood friend and manager Nugent N.J. Walker. British athlete Asha Smith, who won the World World 200 meters title in 2019 and 4x 100 meters relay bronze at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics has also featured in popular culture before. In 2019, she had a Barbie created in her likeness before appearing in the music video for the single Black by Dave the same year. Football manager Jose Moreno also stars in the video putting his finger to his lips while his iconic interview where he said, I prefer not to speak if I speak. I will be in big trouble plays in the background. Marina is the former boss of English Premier League football side Manchester United whom Stormy and Bolt are both fans of. Stormy's now viral video was a surprise release and was instantly acclaimed online racking up more than half a million views on YouTube within hours. So yes more people it's a good look still you see me. Them say see and Bolt can go so bops and add acting to him thing now you understand you see and bolt and make cameo in a music video so it's definitely a good look you see my people so let me know where you think about this and if you don't check out the music video yet by stormzy when you can go up on youtube and just type in stormzy you will actually see it come up at the top or if it's not at the top just look and you will see it or you can type in stormzy mel made me do it and thing and thing and when you can go check out the legendary sprinter you see and bolt and dina asha smith in the music video you see man so yeah, big up on yourself, you know, people. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like this video, my people. The like button, now go cost you a dollar if you press it, you understand? Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And also turn the notification bell on. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. Bless up on yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out. Just a few Jamaica, one, two, three. May I tell him, say this? You. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This is Jamaica, one, two, three. Dina, come here, girl. Come, girl. Cause Dina, we cause Dina. Yes. So this is our I'm so happy so to be yeah, welcomed. Yeah, I am mother of Jamaican and your father. Oh, yes. You're both of them. My mum's half Trini, half Jamaican, mind. and my dad's from Jamaican. That's born Jamaica. Yeah, we are. We are in Jamaica. Oh my god, he's in Maroon. He's up in the mountains. Oh, no, no telly land. Not Maroon. Where the Maroon them come from? A Kompong. I'm not a Kompong. Where them there? St. Elizabeth, you come from the, girl. Up in the mountain, one road in, no one road No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. St. Elizabeth no girl, no mountain <laughs> there. Well, where, when I went to visit, it was a long drive up in the mountain. Actually, you come from Britain. <laughs> <laughs> You think everything I'm out and come I'm everything. I don't know. <laughs> I just remember being like, Jesus. Girl, girl, so, girl, say mountain. Which mountain? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, she come from um, where's that Trinidad? Yeah, our mother Trinidad and Jamaica. 
and then Dina, them said them want to see one a Jamaican dance. <laughs> they want to yeah, yeah, sure <laughs> No, them want them deep. We have to go see, we have to go test, we have to go test Dina Jamaican. Yeah, she, so we are going to know so, if she can dance. So we'll see if she can <laughs> do. You can try her fry or cook or something. Or bong. What? You know, something like catching bongs. Make it burn the bad for me. You bad? Wait now. Wait, wait. I'm going to turn on the camera, girl. <laughs> The girl out to mash up the people them play to the bongs. <laughs> Port a Portland. Yeah. Somebody said pan the live a while ago say a Portland. Alright girl, you're right, you're right. Portland. So her father is from Portland. Yeah. Her father come from Portland. Thank you. Our father come from Portland. Our father so she come our father come from Portland. We have drug testing, so we are going there all night. Yeah, big up Digicel, big up Grace Kennedy. Because I tell you, the coconut water, it keep me. No joke. 